Hi, everybody. It's uh, Lajos. So actually, I, I, I tried to collect a few interesting things from, from the yoga cycle, what, uh, what I think should be really good to hear. So we have done a lot of things. I don't see I am and there everything, but uh, just a few features which uh, which should be interesting for everybody. So one uh, one is the node local virtual IP address. Uh, that uh, that's actually a, a really cool stuff, and uh, and you can uh, have uh, virtual IPs for your uh, VMs, which which uh, can share it and and can access only on the same. Uh, uh, physical uh, node or, or pod, so it's it's really useful for uh, for uh, load balancing uh, between services or, or similar. Uh, another big uh, and and really interesting feature is the is the off path smart NIC DPU with with OVN. So actually, it it it, it was a, a really multi project uh, effort because it was not uh, Neutron, but it was also involved with, with Nova, but but even uh, it, it was a project in OVN, and that's um, that's outside of uh, of OpenStack, so it, it was really a, a cross project uh, uh, feature and effort. So with this, now you can uh, uh, you can you can manage uh, uh, SmartNix, which uh, which has uh, their own. Uh, Operating system and and uh, OVS running on them and and uh, you can manage them from uh, Neutron and you can you can schedule your your VMs to use those uh, with with the help of Nova. <clears throat> uh, next slide, please. Yeah, another OVM feature that uh, actually. We we already have in the previous releases the router gate, gateway uh, QoS, uh, but now you can use that uh, uh, feature and API with uh, with OVN also. So uh, it it was another. So we have a list of gaps between uh, OVN and and uh, and uh, OVS deployments, for example, and and it was in the gap list. And now we have. Uh, we have we have a few things which uh, which we removed from this gap list and and you can use uh, OVM for for more use cases and this was one of those uh, uh, features. Uh, there was a uh, there was another feature in this cycle, which uh, which is actually for for the quality of service, and and it was again a, a cross project. Uh, Activity between Nova and Neutron. Uh, so, like in the previous cycles, uh, we were done uh, to have uh, uh, quality of service and, and scheduling available for VMs which use uh, uh, minimum bandwidth. Now uh, you can define quality of service with uh, with minimum packet per second, and uh, and uh, you can schedule your your VMs to hosts which has uh, uh, enough uh, bandwidth in in packet per second for for that VM, so it's uh, it's really cool stuff. So with this uh, now you can have uh, even even more uh, granularity to to schedule your VMs only to hosts where where you have enough uh, capacity and bandwidth. Yeah, actually that's it for for the coolest stuff for uh, for the yoga and what we have done for for yoga. Uh, I, I would like to mention a few things what uh, what we plan or what uh, we see on the horizon for for the Z cycle. Uh, so there are a few things which uh, which we can't finish during uh, the previous cycle. One is uh, again a QoS uh, feature. So the previous one was the the minimum guaranteed uh, packet per second, but uh, there is another that is uh, the packet rate limit. So if if we can say it's an analog for for the bandwidth limit uh, uh, QoS uh, rule type, but it's for uh, packet per second, and uh, and actually it uh, so the previous feature which which uh, I mentioned for yoga that was uh, uh, a scheduling uh, 
feature, but uh, this one, the, the packet rate limit, this is a data blame enforcement uh, feature. So there will be no scheduling guarantee, but, uh, but uh, actually on the data plane, uh, the packet uh, will be limited. <clears throat> uh, there is plan to work on uh, on the distributed uh, metadata uh, uh, feature that is actually uh, will help to avoid the many agents which we have for neutron so if we finish that, uh, there will be no need for, for the metadata agent because OVS agent will be responsible for, for uh, handling the metadata uh, traffic between your VM and, and the NOVA metadata service. Uh, yeah, so it, it will perhaps make easier the scheduling and, and the deployment of, uh, of, uh, of your OpenStack. <clears throat> uh yeah actually it's uh it's it's more like uh, the next next thing is more like uh, uh a project internal thing but but it can be really interesting for for people who who use uh, not just core neutron features but uh, but uh, other networking things like uh, firewall as a service so firewall as a service was uh, retired a few cycles ago because there was nobody to maintain it. And uh, I am really happy to announce that uh, that we have a team now who started to work on firewall as a service. They, they started to maintain it. They started to fix uh, CI jobs. And actually, they would like to have and, and add new features. Like uh, the, it seems that uh, there will be uh, OVN. Uh, Compatibility, so we, we will use uh, firewall as a service with with OVN as well. So it's it's really interesting to see that uh, that uh, there are new contributors to OpenStack and and to Neutron. So it's it's uh, really good to see. <clears throat> and uh, actually, another QoS quality of service uh, thing. So it's it's a really really hot topic in the latest uh, few cycles, and then that is to make uh, the previously mentioned uh, guaranteed minimum bandwidth feature work with uh, with with OVM because actually it works now only with the with the OVS uh, and, and SRI OV backends. So so with that we will have again uh, uh, one less uh, gap in the. OVN gap list, so it's uh, it's really it's really good to see that uh, that we will have uh, more backends which uh, which provide the full uh, feature list of of neutron. <clears throat> 